hi yummy mummies how are you doing today welcome back to my channel yes i've been away but when i'm back of course to give you good content so in this video we'll be talking about how to stop breastfeeding guys <laughs> i didn't know stopping breastfeeding was gonna be a big deal like i didn't even know because i mean i remembered when i was pregnant and a friend of mine and I were talking and then I remembered saying well you know I just want to breastfeed for just six months did I just hear six months <laughs> well that's not what happened so guys if you're new to my channel welcome please click the subscribe join me and um, yeah let's get on to this video welcome back guys so yes let's get into it yeah stopping breastfeeding in my experience was really difficult because like I said previously I wanted to breastfeed for six months and I think max eight months but guys if I tell you I ended up breastfeeding for 16 months so twice eight months 16 months guys a year four months it was hard so when I got past six months I was thinking okay maybe um, it, it was too he's too young he still needs these boobs um, you know is he gonna get enough nutrient of course he was you know not just strictly breastfeeding but then my son was breastfeeding like his life depended on it so I was I had double mind you know I I, I didn't I didn't even know what to do so about the 10th month I started like um, thinking of what's the action plan because it's one thing to want to stop breastfeeding it's another thing to understand the, the methods of stopping because I inquired from friends and family they just said you you just have to stop and that sounded to me weird and difficult because my son needs to breastfeed before he goes to bed so if he doesn't breastfeed before going to bed how how is he gonna find sleep or how is he gonna settle in to, to, to sleep at night so that was my challenge and I know some of you out there also experiencing the same so guys I would just break down the steps into two I just want to make it so simple I don't want to make this video too long so the first step is preparation like I said during the 8th to 10th month I started you know take making up my mind that this has to stop because um, I decided okay if I didn't make it on the 8th month um, the next two months being the 10th month should be my goal guys I did not keep to this goal 12th month I still didn't keep to this goal so that's one step you have to prepare your mind because this thing is a process if you just wake up you know when your son is one year and you decide to stop maybe you can make it happen but you know you are going to be too emotionally attached you know to your child um in order to quit that process you know immediately so i think i built the momentum with time that i really wanted to stop breastfeeding and because i didn't have my partner living with me um when i inquired for some friends they said well when when we stopped breastfeeding we just gave him to his dad and you know his dad held him through the night and in my case since there was no dad <laughs> I didn't know what to do so I didn't really have that you know other person I could hand my son over to so guys that brings me to the second step after preparing your mind or preparation to stop the second step is actually making up your mind to do it that is really really difficult guys really difficult so I think what really helped me was ringing in the new year um, 2023 I decided that that was gonna be like one of my goal because you know the months just went by so fast and then all of a sudden it was 14 months right and I thought no this has to really be the end so on January the 2nd sorry on January the 1st I gave my son the last breastfeeding he could ever have you know <laughs> and on the second that was it it stopped I said no and it's not gonna be easy guys it was the hardest three four days of my life 
maybe even a week but then he got used to it so what was the trick the trick is um just having your heart you know not hardened but made up and then find different ways you can console your son or your child for instance in my case um he likes to have tea you know randomly we make tea for him so you know a chocolate drink with milk and then i started giving that to him he, he was kind of getting used to it on a daily basis not all the time but then um when i stopped breastfeeding at night the first night was really difficult because he he was like what what's going on here why would you give me these boobs i need to sleep why so he had so much difficulty sleeping um luckily i have a nanny who was you know um who could take him around so he fell asleep but when he woke up in the middle of the night he wanted the boobs um unfortunately he sleeps with me so i couldn't really give him to anyone else um he couldn't get the boobs so he cried he cried for an hour you know and then um i i gave him this tea i talked about and then he he didn't want it he was protesting but finally after a while he he had it and then he kind of relaxed and then he slept through the night the second day again it was the same thing and then it became you know um he started waking up twice at night before he wouldn't even wake up at all he would just um breastfeed in the night and then wake up in the night again breastfeed and and that's it and so um I try to limit also giving him too much of chocolate drink you know um, but it helps because it's warm and it relaxes him and so this was how we coped guys this was this was me thinking um, it was one of the most difficult thing ever yes for me because I'm I love my child so much and I didn't really want to see him suffer and I thought, you know, um, taking away breastfeeding from him would be, you know, tough for him. And it was tough, but guys, he adjusted. And I tell you today, <laughs> the 2nd of February, it's one month now, really, it's one month. And I was, I am like, why did it take me so long to just stop? <laughs> I don't know, guys, I don't know. But this thing, I can't even put... A name on it you know so at the end of the day it's just more um, you making up your mind you actually taking out the action to stop um, providing different ways your child can um, bond with you because uh, breastfeeding of course is a bonding experience between a mother and a child so I gave my son a lot of hugs I told him everything was fine mama was here um, the breastfeeding is over you know you have to take some tea and now he wakes up at night anytime he's hungry and he demands for tea and you know it's you you know this chocolate drink it's called oh god we call it tea but actually it's milo it's called it milo it's nigerian stuff <laughs> it's a chocolate drink but just with a little bit of chocolate and then you know baby milk literally so guys this is what he takes now not all the time but once in a while when he wakes up at night and that was how we got past breastfeeding guys that was literally how we made it happen and I'm so glad because I thought that you know my son would breastfeed almost two years the way he was going you know and this is also the experiences of most mothers with male child i think they say mothers are quite close to their sons or their male children so the bond is you know stronger and you know it's not so easy so at the end of the day guys um, this was how i made it happen and i'm really happy about it and for you mothers out there who are also looking for a way to stop breastfeeding you can also reach out to me uh, if there's a way I could support or even offer more information that I haven't even talked about here that would be great so yeah reach out to me thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you in my next video bye <laughs>